Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Prison Escape. Now we are making um, quite a bit of progress and hopefully we're going to make lots of progress. What's going on with my video camera? We're going to be making... I just um, headbutted this sign over here. Um, yeah, we're, hopefully we're going to be making heaps and heaps of progress in this episode. I'm looking forward to getting up to the next ward, so that's hopefully what we're going to do. Now, I have been doing a little bit of mining with my diamond pickaxe of Unbreaking 3, and it's, um, I've done so much mining and it's still still going strong, which is really, really cool. Um, I have an idea, though, about how we are going to get out of this, out of this prison uh, very, very quickly, or how we can get out of this prison very, very quickly. But in order to do that, I'm going to need to smelt um, all of my iron ore, um, which is kind of, kind of a bit of a hassle. I might see if I can run over here. Um, unfortunately, I don't have my own cell, so I am going to have to um, to use these little cubicles um, and do a little bit of smelting. So I'll be back in a second, guys, and I'll tell you the, the plan I've got um, to get out of this ward. So be right back. Okay, guys, so I have uh, three stacks of iron. Now, what I'm going to do first is sell off some of my coal. I just want to clear out my inventory a little bit. Unfortunately, I don't have a shop. Um, I don't have my own cell, sorry, where I can uh, kind of store my stuff, so I have to help hold on to all of my stuff. I'm just going to run back here to the shop and sell my spare coal and get a few thousand dollars, hopefully, from that. And then, yeah, I'll show you what I'm going to be doing. Uh, we are going to be uh, making heaps of cash, heaps and heaps of cash, and hopefully, check out this guy. He looks like a little little, little phantom guy. Um, yeah, so let's sell this stuff. Okay, we've got, uh, let's see, I'll sell three three stacks of coal. One, two, three. And what else have we got here? I might sell my steaks as well. So I'll sell off these uh, these cooked steaks here. There we go. Okay, I've got $55,000. Now I want to run back and grab a, um, a crafting table over here. What I might do first is, is stick on all of my armor. I want as much free space as I can possibly get. What I'm going to be doing here is putting these uh, these sticks up here. And there we go. I'm going to grab as many of these as I can. <laughs> there we go. Okay, beautiful. Okay, I can actually make uh, one more here. So let's see. We're going to do this. There we go. I've got heaps of uh, heaps of pickaxes. I wouldn't mind a, uh, a just a normal axe as well, but never mind. I'll come back to that in a second. Um, so the idea is, is that I can use these tickets over here to either go to the... Um, to go to the shop, but I'm probably not going to do that for a while. So what I thought of doing was actually using these tickets to um, um, to do more of the quests. So it takes 10 tickets to perform a new quest, and I should be able to get $1,000 out of that. So I can probably get, you know, $37,000 just from doing these quests, which would be awesome, and that would be enough money to uh, to actually rank up into the D ward. So hopefully, uh, yeah, we'll be able to do that. Uh, very, very soon. So let's run over to this guy. Let's run over to, to Black Lung. Let's take the quest. There we go. We've got a thousand dollars. So let's see if this actually works. Um, there we go. We can do it again. We can do it again. And we can do it again. And guys, I'm going to keep doing this. Okay, guys, so we've got 18 tickets left. We have $92,000, which is pretty amazing, which is enough to rank up. So let's do this once more. Have I got another... No, I'm out of pickaxes, actually. I'm out of pickaxes, so I can't do anything else. Let me just have this uh, this pork chop for the time being. We're going to run over to... Uh, let's see. We're going to run over to Timberland. We're going to finish that quest uh, just quickly, just to get another $1,000 there. We might as well grab as much money as we can in this E-Ward, and then we're going to go up, uh, rank up, and hopefully get ourselves into the E-Ward, which is going to be pretty cool. We're just going to run in here um, quickly. Now, what I need is an axe, um, so might as well, might as well grab the axe right here, um, just to... To finish off that quest, I don't need to use any tickets uh, for that quest, so that's a f that's a free thousand bucks, pretty much, which is pretty cool. Now I'm not going to worry about that quest for now. Now where is the wood miner? The wood miner's down here, so I'll just quickly run down here, and we're going to be getting out of this place. I've been uh, feels like I've been here forever, actually. I've been stuck in this E ward for a long time, so hopefully our progress is going to be a little bit quicker. Oh, someone's throwing stuff down there. Um, yeah, hopefully our progress will be a bit quicker. 
Where is... Oh, it's over here, isn't it? Where's the... Uh, here we go. This is Timberland over here. So let's go and, let's go and have one last visit to, uh, to Timberland and give him his, uh, his iron axe, what he's been uh, waiting for for a long time. There we go. There we go. Okay, we've got $93,000. Now let's see if there's any apples floating around the place here. I don't see any. So that's fine. We're going to head over to... Um, to get out of this place for the moment, we're going to head over here, um, stay out of the uh, the red zones, uh, go and see the warden, and we're going to rank up as well. So let's see if we can do this, guys. Let's get rank up. Woohoo! Yeah! We have ranked up to D ward. We're now in D4. Awesome. Um, awesome, 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 awesome. So we're going to, we should be able to head over here into the D ward. What I might do is just take off some of my armor at the moment. It's a bit heavy at the moment, so I might take that off for now. And we're going to explore what's in the D ward. So what have we got here? Disposal? Um, looks like we're, we're probably going to have a few new quests. We've got a new shop over here. Um, looks like everything is pretty much the same price. Um, I thought we might be able to to sell stuff um, for you know for a bit more, but uh, we can't at the moment. We've got the enchanter guy here, um, so we can definitely do a bit of enchanting. Looks like we've got a basketball court over here. Actually, come to think of it, I better put my armor on just in case I do get caught in a, in one of those sections. So we've got the auction house down here. Let's have a quick look and see if we can uh, we can find anything in the auction house. Probably not. It usually gets uh, usually gets taken up pretty quickly. So it looks like. Yeah, everything's empty here. So, unfortunately, uh, it's pretty difficult to to find things in the auction house. It seems to always be empty every time I come down here. Uh, we've got the mine over there, and we've got uh, what have we got over here? Looks like we'll have the cells over here as well. Um, so if I run up over here, we, we, we're going to definitely do a bit of shopping um, a little bit later, and hopefully we can find our own cell as well. Hopefully the D ward isn't as packed out as the E ward. I kind of figure uh, the more I more I go up in levels, then um, you know the the less packed it's going to be. Okay, so what can we sell here? Cobblestone and stone, just like normal. We've got a different uh, different mine here. Looks like we've got some lapis lazuli, and we've got redstone as well. Um, we've got little torches everywhere, so yeah, how about we do a little bit of mining, we'll see if we can get this lapis lazuli and the, the conductor, do we have a quest? You got a quest for me, buddy? Oh, here we go. Task, $5,000, bring me 32 rails. I need some help to finish my track, can you get some rails? Um, how do I get a rail? Where do I get these rails from? Can I... Oh, I can't... There's, there's rails in there, buddy. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know how to get these rails. Maybe I need to craft them. Um, so let's go up and have a look in this mine. We'll do a little bit of mining and uh, see how quickly we can get this stuff. Okay, guys, so we've done a little bit of mining. We've got some lapis lazuli and some redstone. Now, this guy over here wanted some... The conductor needed some uh, rails. So if I can find out where the uh, the crafting tables are... Um, then maybe I can uh, go and grab some rails for this guy. Um, we do need to craft them with... I think we just need iron. What's... We've got some furnace... Oh, we've got furnaces down here, do we? Okay. So we should have the crafting tables down here, so I'll just run down as fast as I can. Looks like they are... Looks like they are fairly far away, but I'll just um, find one here. Looks like they're all pretty empty. Um, shall I bother... Let me just... Um, Start smelting some of this iron just while I am making the uh, the uh, the rails. I won't stay here for too long. So let's see. The rails need to. I think there's no. I think we just need two sticks in the middle actually, or just one stick per rail, and we do it like there we go. Yeah, that's how we do it. Okay, so they're the rails. Now that guy wanted 32 rails, I think. 32 rails, and that should give it. That should give us uh, $5,000, which would be pretty, pretty cool. Just want to see if I can make some blocks here. I can actually turn these into blocks. Um, is that worthwhile or not? It probably is worthwhile. I might turn these into blocks. Hopefully, I'll be able to sell them somewhere. We are going to have a look um, through the uh, the new um, the new cells and see if uh, we can get some good deals. Um, can we turn these into redstone blocks? Is that worthwhile as well? Yeah, we might as well do that. Let's... 
hopefully we can hopefully it's easier to sell them as blocks I'm not really sure um, I think it might be but um, yeah I guess we'll figure it out um, let's just grab this stuff back um, we don't need that anymore we've got these rails so we can go back to the conductor um, sell him the uh, the rails that we've got and ah uh, yeah should be good so just gonna run back up these steps and hopefully we'll find the other quests as well I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more than just one quest here um, while I'm here though I might as well sell off the sell off the cobblestone um, and I've got a bit of cobblestone here as well so I might as well sell off all of my cobblestone we've got uh, about fourteen thousand dollars coming up to fifteen thousand dollars <laughs> to rank up to D4 we do need fifteen uh, sorry a hundred thousand dollars which is another eighty-five thousand dollars we need to rank up. So let's go over to this conductor. Let's, uh, hello, buddy. Let's accept his quest there and sell him the thirty-two rails, and we've got nineteen thousand eight hundred dollars, which is really awesome. And we've still got a heap of uh, a heap of iron ingots as well that we can sell. So we should be able to sell these iron ingots um, for quite a lot somewhere. So what I'm going to do now is head over to the. Um, I might actually head over to the cells. So let's go and have a look at these cells and see what we can fi find. Um, I wouldn't mind finding the other quests as well. Is there another quest around here? Let's have a little bit of a run. I, I suspect um, that there might be another quest around here somewhere. So let's let's see if we can find it. Let's see if we can find some other guy um, just sitting around here somewhere. And some guy out, out in the grass. There should be someone around here, shouldn't there? Should we, should we make a dash for it? Let's make a dash for it. Hopefully I'm not going to get killed around here. I just have a funny... Here we go. Who's this guy? Okay. Shanky's girl. Shanky's... Shanky's girl. Hopefully no one is going to see me out here. I am in the PvP. Talk to Shanky boy to begin this quest. Oh, where's Shanky boy? Okay. Hopefully no one's going to kill me out here. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> okay, get back here. Okay, once we step outside of the red area... Um, once we step in, into the red zone, I should say, um, it is PvP, so it looks like I'm going to have to be doing these quests in the, uh, the PvP area. Um, now where's Shanky Boy? Stanky James. Stanky James. Excuse me, buddy. Okay, let's see. Bring me six raw fish. Do I want to do that? I don't have a, uh, a fishing rod. Seven and a half thousand bucks, which is pretty cool. Seven and a half thousand bucks is pretty cool for that quest. Um, we got Mr. Stoner, Mia Stoner as well. Okay, looks like we do have a few new quests around here. Can I do it? Can I? Do I need to go into the red zone? Uh, let's see. Reward four thousand dollars. Bring me sixty-four leaves. Sixty-four leaves. Um, I need some shears for that as well. So I'm gonna have to make some shears. I'm gonna need a fishing rod as well. I can't find Shanky Boy. I found found a Shanky girl, um, and she seems to be part of a quest. So I need to find Shanky Boy. Is he hiding around here? Is Shanky Boy around here somewhere? Um, let's see. Let's see if we can find Shanky Boy hiding around here somewhere. He's got to be somewhere around here. He can't be far away. If Shanky Girl is around the other side, um, Shanky Boy. <gasps> oh, the collector. This is a. I thought it was a guy hiding around here for for PvP. Let's have a look. Talk to Shanky Boy. Goodness, where's Shanky Boy? Everybody needs to find Shanky Boy, and I can't find him. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to have a look around, guys, for Shanky Boy. I don't think I can do this quest at the moment. Um, yeah, I can't find Shanky Boy. So what I might do is actually um, have a look in some of these cells and see if we can find some really good deals. So what I'm going to do is, um, not sure where Shanky Boy is. In the meantime, I'm going to run in here, see if we can have a look in these shops and find some brilliant deals. Be back in a sec. Okay guys, so I can buy a fish for 200 bucks and I can sell six of them, well I can complete the quest for seven and a half thousand, so rather than me going fishing and, and wasting all of that time, um, is that a raw fish there? Yeah, it is a raw fish, okay, two, three, four, five, six, okay, I think I need six fish, buy a lily pad, why would I want a lily pad, saddle, um, yeah, so, so we've got some raw fish here, just let me check this, this cell is closed here, um, Please help me donate good things. I'm, I need help myself, buddy. Um, sell diamonds, sell gold ingots. I don't have either of those. Take a chance to get a rare pick. You might be lucky. Sell an iron ingot for 80. I think I can do better than 80, but that's fine. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is run back to the uh, the fish guy. Um, I am getting a little bit lost around here. I think the fish guy is back near the, the entrance to these cells. Um, 
how many do we have here? We've got one, two, three, three by three. Do we have nine or twelve kind of buildings of these cells? And I think there's another set of cells somewhere else as well. So it's uh, it's a pretty big area, and there's a lot a lot to do here. So um, okay, the mine is over here. Now where do we where can we where's the fishing pond? Let me let me. Let me go and find the uh, the fishing pond again. I can sell the okay the redstone and the lazuli there. But uh, let me go and find the the fishing pond, and hopefully we can actually complete this quest. Um, the mine is there. I don't like uh, <laughs> all of this uh, this PVP zone. It's a little bit scary having so much PVP over here. Um, where's the pond? There's the basketball court. Um, we got the cells over here. And I thought the pond was in a, in a safe area. Is it not in a safe area? Um, I'm just going to have to... It looks like we got some food over here as well. Do I want to go in here and see what's in here? See what food we've got up here? I might as well explore. I might as well explore everything. Oh, we're up in the mines here. Up in the top of the mines. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it looks like we can grab some, some food up here. Um, we got some leather over us here as well, and I don't see any more quests. It's a bit icy up here. Um, I don't see any more quests here, so I, I am kind of on the lookout to find all of the quests um, in this in this ward. Um, I just need to find the the fishing pond again, and I can complete this la this uh, well. It'll be the first quest actually. Um, it will be the first quest. So just get my sword handy and. Yeah, I can't find the, the fishing pond. Oh, there's Shanky Boy there. There's Shanky Boy. Okay, so let's do this Shanky Boy quest quickly. I don't think anyone's around. Uh, let's see. Shanky Boy, what do you want? Bring Shanky Girl one iron sword. Bring my girl some backup. Bring me three skull items. Um, okay, bring Shanky Girl one iron sword. And I've got an iron sword uh, on me right now. So I might as well go and see Shanky Girl. She's hiding around here. Um... No one's no one's following me. Okay, I really don't want to don't want to get into a fight over here. I'm not so well equipped. Um, I don't have uh, many things on me. I don't have diamond armor or anything like that. Okay, so let's go talk to the collector to continue your quest. Okay, so uh, we've gone to Shanky Boy. We need to go to Shanky Girl. Now we need to go to the collector, and uh, hopefully we can finish this quest. It's all hungry work though, doing these quests. So I might as well grab my uh, my pork chop here. Uh, find the collector. Hopefully, I can get those three skull items, and uh, maybe I need to take them back to Shanky Boy to finish the quest completely. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I thought it was in a safe area. Okay, Stanky James. Here we go. Um, bring me six raw fish. L yes. Beautiful. Seven and a half thousand dollars. Yes, guys. Yes, we've done it. Um, so let's go to the Mia. Who was this one again? Uh, 64 leaves. Okay, I won't bother with that now. I need to make some shears. Um, I just need to find the collector again. Now, where is the collector? I thought he was hiding around here somewhere. I did run around here, I think. So let me just retrace my steps. Hopefully, I can find the collector. Um, no, he's not around this side. Okay, so I have to remember that this is this is an empty area. Um, yeah, the collector is some... Here he is. Here's the collector. Okay, no one around. No one's around. Okay, let's go talk to this guy. Here we go. Aww. Bring me three skull items. Uh, three skull items. Do I need to kill someone for that? I think I need to kill someone for the skull items, um, which is going to be uh, pretty difficult. But I have to have a look into that, guys. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. It's been a uh, been a lot of fun. We've ranked up to level D. We've still got a lot of exploring here to do. Hopefully, I can find some uh, really great deals um, in these cells over here. And we only need a hundred thousand dollars to rank up to D4, which we should be doing pretty soon with this uh, this new mine. So, talk to you all again soon, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.